One of the best things about having friends all over the world is that whenever I have a long layover almost anywhere, I can meet up with a friend. So I'm here in Amsterdam, I have eight hours, so I'm meeting with Yorin. Hey guys! We've known each other for 11 years, we went to boarding school together. So I'm very excited she's gonna show me some fun stuff in Amsterdam and I'm gonna share it with you guys as well. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> We are now going somewhere that even Yorin has not been. Where is it exactly? It's called the Zandstreek and it's super North Hollandish. It's like windmills and uh, what are they called? Weilanden for forever. And with this weather, it's super pretty. Super North Hollandish. Very exciting. <laughs> super touristy. Super that touristy. Also, yeah. <laughs> but. Of Whoa, okay. Edit that out, so. This is uh, the by far most sustainable and circular place that we have in Amsterdam. Everything you see around here is built from reused materials and everything they served is local and organic. And around here you can see different types of houseboats uh, that are cleaning the polluted ground underneath us. And it's a really wonderful place to hang out. Would you ever live in a houseboat? Yeah, I'd love to. It's really all of these houseboats here, they have algae on the bottom of them and that then grows and replenishes the soil that was damaged before from like a garbage dump that was here. But now it's become like a sustainability center. Sal has always been this sweet. Sal has always loved dancing. Uh, Sal still, still has the same dance moves. It's, um, but they're good moves. They're signature moves. <laughs> Sal's a very wide interest and <laughs> truly gets along with a lot of people. The only people that he doesn't get along with are the people that he gets onto their nerves because he's too happy. Sal gets along with everyone and I've, I've seen you meet over 100 different nationalities so I think I'm pretty okay in saying that you can get along with people. And I'm not surprised you actually are the youngest American to travel Something all countries. Like yeah. And I always explain to people that for you it wasn't just getting the stamps and a passport, um, but you needed to have had a meaningful experience, which for you always meant some sort of an interaction with the local people. And I think that's what's a big difference between you and other people that just do it for the sake of having the stamps. Aww, so nice to meet I think I would say that Amsterdam is probably the most perfect place for like a six to nine hour layover. And the airport is close to the city. It's very easy to get there. It's cheap to get there. Uh, and the city is small. It's very nearby. The city center is absolutely beautiful to just wander around and it's not that exhausting. And the Dutch are like kind of nice people. No, we're not. 
We're not nice to tourists. We're absolutely not nice to tourists. They're fine, so, don't worry. <laughs> don't get out at Central Station and act like a tourist. <laughs> Just wander off into the more quiet area. Don't go to the sex museum first. Okay. And if you... <laughs> That's a pretty good layover, I'd say.